session which is definitely going to have a huge impact in their lives to have their own startup to have their own innovative ideas to be incubated etc and we have many faculty of our college also joined so it gives immense pleasure to welcome one and all yes this impact lecture series is being organized on behalf of ministry of education innovation cell mic and aicte and today's lecture is being organized by the iic that is institutions innovation council where we have dr bharat chinde sir principal of vidya pratishtha art science commerce college dr lala saith kashit sir vice principal science faculty of vidya pratishtha and we have dr tushar bor sir the convener and mrs neelima pendarkar coordinator iqac and president iic and all the other coordinators of iic and my dear faculty members and my dear students from post graduation as well as under graduation who have interestedly and inquisitively joined this lecture series so we are definitely going to have a very huge impact in our own lives as well as in the students lives through these lecture series which will be organized for this entire year which will be brainstorming both towards incubation innovation of ideas startups where we are going to have many activities throughout the year encouraging the students towards the iic so it gives me once again immense pleasure to welcome dr nishad deshpande the proud alumnus of vidya pratishthan art science commerce college the very first batch of bsc applied biotechnology a proud course that was initiated by vidya pratishthan art science commerce college so he was Uh, a very bright but at the same time a silent student who have now taken his life journey to such an extent that we have him here as our proud guest speaker and an expert in ipr intellectual property rights so we have today's lecture on role of ipr in idea generation and execution now vidya pratishtan being prestigiously into the year of golden jubilee so we are very happy to introduce this lecture series through this golden jubilee celebrations too and now i request dr tushar bose the convener of iic to kindly introduce the impact and today's lecture thank you madam good morning one and all on behalf of vidya pratishthan and uh, principal vidya pratishthan art science commerce college dr bharat chinde sir vice principal dr kashit sir mrs nilima pendarkar iqac in charge and president of uh, innovation Inst institution innovation council my dear faculty members the other activity coordinators of iic and my dear students under the aegis of ministry of uh, education the institutional innovation council is a must activity and since last two years we are uh, the center or the member of this iic and we have been conducting many such kind of activities whereby the within the students there will be an idea there will be an thing which can be generated into the minds of the students that how to generate an idea how to develop that particular idea how to execute that idea and for doing this what are the things which are required so maybe starting from how to go for referencing what do you mean by ipr what do you mean by patenting how to search this uh, research articles then uh, how to develop this idea so what kind of uh, experimentation has to be done what kind of strategy has to be uh, developed so that the work can be completed and maybe during this whole process they come to know about the different kind of experimentations which are involved into it and then at the end what we are trying to do that we try to guide the student that how they can convert their ideas their work into an product or an technology which can be transferred to the industry or where the student they can develop themselves as an entrepreneur so that's the 
motto of the IIC and we have started with that particular initiative. We have our uh, incubation center where we have different kind of facilities which has been developed. So with this motto, we have started with this uh, institutional innovation center and the different activities which are being conducted. So for this year, the impact lecture series has been organized where we have tried to give and glimpse to the student about the IPR and its role into the idea generation, how to execute that idea and how to convert that idea into a product. So uh, with this particular motto, uh, we'll start with the first session by our own alumni, uh, Dr. Nishad Deshpande, who is a senior scientist at Urdi. So thank you and welcome to all of you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Tushar Borsi, sir. Yes, uh, definitely we are going to have a huge impact through these lecture series. So I now welcome Dr. Nishad Deshpande, the speaker for today's lecture, role of IPR in idea generation and execution. It gives me immense pleasure to uh, introduce today's guest speaker, uh, he, who is presently working as senior scientist with CSR unit with Eurodip Pune. And he had his PhD from Symbiosis University in the Faculty of Management. And his research area was technology commercialization. And his master's degree is from BITS Pilani, the prestigious institute, and a proud alumni of BSc Applied Biotechnology of Vidya Pratishthan. And he has also completed his BSc Microbiology from Dayananda College, Solapur. And he has many publications on his name, uh, 10 Scopus indexed publications. Uh, on biofuels, bioproducts, and biorefining in various journals uh, like Journal of Commercial Biotechnology, International Journal of IP Management, World in Patent Information, International Journal of Technology and Marketing, Journal of Intelligence Studies in Business. And his uh, research work is basically with patents of the IPR under the umbrella as collateral for securitization, uh, which was published in Nature Biotechnology Journal in the year 2017. And he is also with several recognitions and awards like the Society for Information Science of India as Young Information Scientist in the year 2012 for his contribution in the area of PAD informatics. And he's also a recipient of World Intellectual Property Organization Fellowship for participating in two weeks long colloquium on transfer of technology and licensing at Strasbourg, France in 2016. He also attended a week long training in searching for patents at European patent organization Munich, Germany in 2014. And this was funded from government of India, which is in itself a prestige. So with this a very brief introduction, but at the same time, a lot of insights to be given and he has a special postgraduate diploma in PAT informatics and he's presently the faculty for this course at Eurodip. So we once again welcome you Dr. Nishad. So I request Dr. Nishad Deshpande to kindly take over this session and have a huge impact on our students, faculty as well as the entire organization who are looking forward to have innovation in our institution. Uh, thank you, ma'am. I too am very glad to be at VSBT Vidya Pradeshthan Paramati campus. It forms my core from which I've learned everything. So once again, I'm glad to be here. I am sharing my presentation. Just let me know if my voice as well as the PPTs are visible. Yeah, your uh, voice is absolutely clear, uh, Dr. Nisha. Yeah, and presentation is also visible. Thank you so much. Uh, before I start with my presentation, uh, my request to all is be open. If you have any doubts, please stop me there, there itself and ask me questions because repeat issue, only one person speaking, it's like speaking to a wall. Uh, I'm also okay when the Marathi Zari Vichala Tari Chalna Rahe Mala Malawata Ki Marathi Sudha Mala Vyavasit Bolta Yata Samasa So please be, feel free to ask me questions if at all if you have any doubts 
uh, without any hesitation so good morning all respected sirs ma'am all the faculties at vidya pradeshan and my fellow students uh, as mentioned i am going to be speaking on the role of intellectual property rights iprs and in context of idea generation and execution and since this is organized under iic so let us start with talking about relation between ideas and business now when we are speaking in context of business or generally what why we are existing we are existing in order to fulfill certain needs which we ourselves may have or certain demands that others may have from us right so this also is applicable to general businesses so need or satisfying demand is one of the prerequisites for functioning of a business now you might say like it is a prerequisite then what comes afterwards after satisfying demand what the business gets is returns on their investment i will not say money i'll say returns on their investment and a satisfaction right so consumers would be demanding new services and based on their demands the organizations the industries would introduce certain products and the consumers will buy that products or services which are offered by industries but industries in order to stay in business they need to serve better they need to be more efficient to satisfy this demand and they also need to keep up with the competition because they are not the single isolated persons who are trying to satisfy demand of consumers they also are facing competition from other organizations as well so there is an tendency of giving better things at much lesser price or better products so this the organization myself can be doing it or my competition can also do it so in order to meet this need to become better efficient organizations need newer ideas or new inventions what is the basic difference between idea and invention though these terms are used interchangeably ideas is a thought that comes to our mind probably it is a thought which means that nothing concrete or tangible has come into existence whereas inventions when i talk about inventions it is conversion of idea into something tangible something which can be seen say for example a prototype based on what you might have thought right so this is a basic difference between ideas and inventions and probably after these lectures what you would also be hearing is going to be innovations now what is difference between invention and innovation invention is a product a tangible thing and innovation is when that tangible thing reaches market reaches end user so that people are using it and it generates certain revenue so that's the difference between idea inventions and innovations and many number of times these terms are being used interchangeably but it's good to know the difference between these three terminologies so in order to have better inventions or innovations businesses will keep on investing in research and development right you remember the phone which we had about 10 years ago a feature phone with physical buttons but now what has happened most of us 
are carrying smartphone with touch screen display there are very few or nil physical buttons present on our mobile devices nowadays now why this has come because mobile manufacturers they invested in research and development past two years after onset of covid did our learning stop no why because we had better products we had smartphones and our teachers delivered lectures on smartphones so what happened is we had better products which helped us in coping up with the lockdown in learning continuing our learning right so this was all possible because organizations invested in r and that's why we were able to get internet on our mobile phones however in contrast to successful businesses who keep on investing and progressing by way of r&d individuals if you are working as an individual innovators or small companies what is typical problem drawbacks uh, rather i would say rather than drawbacks what is keeping us from moving ahead is lack of resources the resources majoritarily are in form of money funding or it could be in form of know how or innovation right however despite these lack of resources individuals or smaller organization can still produce ideas that doesn't need money what it needs is intellect and knowledge and an idea would establish its worth when it offers a novel solution that solution is turned into a product or a service and it generates a revenue so successful ideas are innovations and innovations are always tied up with satisfying a need and generating revenues in this backdrop intellectual property rights come into play because they are very much important for protecting our efforts which have gone into research and development and they help in commercialization of new products so what is an intellectual property as the word indicates property is nothing but ownership and as an owner of a property i am free to use it as i wish i can exclude others from using owned property now now intellectual property is a type of a property which is resulting from intellect which is nothing but human mind okay right so let us now try to understand similarities between intellectual property and a property now equate an intellectual property to a physical property say for example a piece of land aplya barasa janancha sheti ahe kiwa baramati cha jawal pas ekhada ghar bandhasathi plot ghetlela kiwa ghar bandlela ani tyachavarti plot ahe ata ta plot chi malki maji ahe to mi kay karu shakto i can lease it out i can rent it out कोणीतरी एखादं शेड उभं करून त्याच्यामध्ये काहीतरी छोटस सेटअप करू शकतो और आय कॅन बिल्ड माय ओन हाऊस ऑन इट और आय कॅन सिम्पली पुट अ फेन्स अराउंड इट सो दॅट आय कॅन एक्सक्लूड अदर्स फ्रॉम युजिंग माय पीस ऑफ लँड इट इज सिमिलर विथ इंटलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी तुम्ही तुमचा विचार त्याचा वापर करून एखादी गोष्ट तुमच्या मनात झालेली आहे त्याच्यावरती तुम्ही पुढं न्यायच्यासाठी अजून विचार करता थोडासा तुम्ही एक्सपेरिमेंट करता आणि यू कम आउट विथ सर्टन थिंग छोटीशी गोष्ट असते पण तुम्ही त्याच्यामध्ये तुमची इन्व्हेस्टमेंट झालेली आहे तुमच्या बुद्धीचा वापर केलेला आहे तुम्ही आणि तुम्ही त्याचा वापर केलाय त्यामुळं 
याच्यावरती तुमचा मालकी हक्क पाहिजे मालकी हक्क पाहिजे का दुसऱ्यांनी त्याचा वापर करून अजून पुढे काही करू नये किंवा तुम्ही ती गोष्ट एका स्टेज पर्यंत आणून ठेवलेली आहे पुढे जाऊन तुम्हाला मार्केटमध्ये न्यायचं आहे जर तुम्ही ते प्रोटेक्ट नाही केलं तर दुसरं कोणी उचलून त्याचा वापर करेल आणि मार्केटमध्ये घेऊन जाईल राईट सो इफ आय मेक यूज ऑफ इंटलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी प्रोटेक्शन टूल्स आय गेट अ काइंड ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन फॉर माय इंटलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी मी कुंपण घालून ठेवतो की दुसरे कोणी माझ्या परवानगी शिवाय तिथे एंट्री सुद्धा करू शकणार नाही मी माझी मालकी मी तिथं सिद्ध करू सो वॉट हॅज हॅपन इज सिमिलर टू फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज इंटलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टीज डिराईव्ह कमर्शियल बेनिफिट्स टू ऑर्गनायझेशन बिझनेस ऑर्गनायझेशन सो इंटलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी इज नॉट कन्सिडर्ड ॲज अन ॲसेट नॉर्मली वेन वी से ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी समथिंग टँजिबल कम्स टू आर माइंड बरोबर म्हणजे एवढी मोठी प्रॉपर्टी आहे त्याची एवढी मोठी प्रॉपर्टी म्हणल्यावर ती आपल्या डोळ्या पुढे काय येतं शेती घर अशा गोष्टी येतात बट इंटलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टीज आर नॉट टँजिबल बट स्टील दीज आर कन्सिडर्ड टू बी अन ॲसेट्स ऑफ अन ऑर्गनायझेशन दे आर इन्क्लुडेड नाव इन बॅलन्स शीट्स ऑफ ऑर्गनायझेशन so that is the reason why output of intellectual efforts need to be protected why because these outputs of intellectual efforts lead to progress in knowledge technology products or businesses and they provide security for intangible property right? you cannot see intellect right it is not tangible the results of intellect are tangible but the intellect itself is not tangible but still that intangible thing can be protected by making use of intellectual property rights now there are different types of intellectual property rights that are available Uh, one of the important is copyright copyright protects any creation of mind only reason only precondition to seek protection for a copyright is it has to be tangible right so you write a poem on a piece of a paper you have written it you have expressed it so it becomes eligible for copyright so what can be copyright protected books drawings choreographic works photos sculptures all are eligible to get copyright protection in india computer programs are eligible for obtaining copyright protections copyrights protects expression of thoughts and ideas although idea itself is not protected its expression is what is protected there is no requirement that your express work should be good or should have artistic merit tumhi kiti hi kharab chitra kada majha sar still you can claim copyright for it. copyright protection is territorial in nature tumhala pratyek deshat jecha sathi tumhala protection hava hai त्या देशामध्ये जाऊन तुम्हाला कॉपीराइट प्रोटेक्शनसाठी फाईल करावं लागतं कॉपीराइट कॅन बी ट्रान्सफर्ड टू अदर्स ऑन अन टेरिटोरियल बेसिस सो से फॉर एक्झाम्पल इफ यू हॅव कम आउट विथ अ मॅन्युअल विच लिस्ट आउट सर्टन स्टेप्स फॉर अचिव्हिंग सर्टन प्रोडक्शन ऑफ अ प्रॉडक्ट then that technical manual can be protected by filing out a copyright बरोबर त्या मॅन्युअल ची कोणीही झेरॉक्स करून तुमच्या परवानगी शिवाय विकू शकणार नाही इफ यू होल्ड अ कॉपीराइट ऑन इट व्हॉट इज अ टर्म फॉर प्रोटेक्शन 
there are international regulations so under burn convention minimum period for protection under copyright is 50 years from the date of death of creator and jama to me a work killer express killer tema pasna tumcha copyright protection chalu hota ani pudha kiti varsha chalta mrutyu nantar 50 varsha some of the countries the tenure is 70 years from year of death of author second type of intellectual property is called as industrial designs it relates to appearance of an object say for example shape of a soft drinks bottle coca cola when i say coca cola what comes in front of mind is a bottle with a typical shape right or a coke logo red in color round fine so asha ja goshti asa jeta shape important asto so that kind of innovations are protected under industrial designs here shape is primary technical or functional aspects are secondary the term of protection is 5 years and can be renewed up to 15 to 20 years trips agreement says that all the countries who have signed trips agreement should provide protection of minimum 10 years the other type of intellectual property is called as trademarks or service marks so which includes commercial names and designation say for example logos ata jeva apan bisleri manto tev aplya dolya pudha kay yata a typical uh, right hand side la corner madhe je dislela ahe pani je ka bakli bharlela ahe or nestle when i say of nestle what comes to my mind is this logo or when i say hp a round logo with white and blue background bharat gas a yellow and red logo mcdonalds m yellow and red right so these are nothing but trademarks which are nothing but signs which help in distinguishing goods and services from competitors hp cha petrol pump ani bharat petrol bharat petroleum cha petrol pump aplyala lages lakshat deto hp mandlavarti pandra nila dista bp bharat petroleum mandlavarti nila ani pivlo dolya pode barobar so these signs or marks help me in distinguishing my goods from my competitors protection to tenure kiti asse normally 10 years and it can be renewed indefinitely the third kind of intellectual property is called as geographical indications this type of ip protection tools tries to protect indications with respect to origin of goods right jeva apan chadar manto tevha aplya dolya pudha kay yata solapuri chadar sona baramati cha barobar so it is tied up with a certain geography and why is that thing important because that designation or indication of origin implies certain quality or that geographical location imparts certain characteristics to the goods right kolhapuri chappal jar kanpur madhe jaun ghetli tar te barobar vatta ga ki ma ji mala kolhapur madhe milti ti kanpur madhe milti ga nahi milat barobar so these are kind of geographical indication so champagne is protected by geographical indications so this type of protection is available for use by all producers in that region ata jar mi solapur cha ahe sail ani solapurat ekhada mi maal takla ani sadar tayar karun mikay laglo tar i am authorized to make use 
to sell my chadar as solapuri chadar duration of protection initially the half a year and it can be renewed indefinitely there are some few more intellectual property tools which are available technical designs electronic circuits are protected in india by way of protection of integrated circuits new plant varieties protected by plant varieties protection act confidential information which is not available in public domain is protected as trade secret and protection of inventions is covered by laws of patents so why has it become important because recently sagli kadas globally the technology is developing many countries are now gaining expertise in the reverse engineering so what has happened is people they want to protect the development which they have done is it that any investments ke lela hai tamula tena tyacha badal protection hava hai tena vatat nahi ki dusra ne jo reverse engineering karala goshti ani jo reverse engineer kela tar te swasthat viku shakta ma hancha revenue kasa kay generate hona plus <coughs> what has happened is world has come closer world has opened up tamula खूप ठिकाणहून विविध वस्तू ऍज वेल ऍज टेक्नॉलॉजी येत आहेत मग जेव्हा टेक्नॉलॉजी येत आहेत त्याच्याबरोबर जर मला टेक्नॉलॉजी घ्यायची असेल तर टेक्नॉलॉजी देणारा म्हणतो की तुमच्या देशामध्ये पेटंट प्रोटेक्शन आहेत का इंटलेक्च्युअल प्रॉपर्टी राईट प्रोटेक्ट होऊ शकते का की जेणेकरून त्याला त्याच्यामधन इन रिटर्न फॉर प्रोव्हायडिंग टेक्नॉलॉजी ही टू गेट्स अन ऑपॉर्च्युनिटी टू जनरेट रेव्हेन्यूज राईट सो जर तुम्ही मागच्या काही दिवसात बघितलं असेल तर बातम्या काय येतात इंडिया वूज आसियान विथ जनरिक्स प्रोडक्शन वॅक्सिन बट वॉन्ट सपोर्ट फॉर आय पी आर पे वर हे इंडियाच्या कंटेक्स मध्ये झालं वॉट इज हॅपनिंग वर्ल्ड वाईड कॅनेडियन पब्लिक इज डिमांडिंग waiver for production of medicines so that people can gain access to medicines at a lower cost so it is not on the governments or inventors who are getting impacted by iprs general public too is getting impacted countries too are positioning themselves with help of iprs so what is a patent patent is nothing but a right granted to inventors to prevent unauthorized use of invention within a particular territory for a limited period of time it any kai shop the highlight kelele bold kelele that's a reason behind it patents are negative right that's a vapramula you can prevent unauthorized use it is restricted by a particular territory jar mala patent protection माझ्या गोष्टींसाठी यु एस मध्ये मार्केट असेल तर मला यु एस मध्ये जाऊन पेटर्न फाईल करावं लागेल इंडियात पेटर्न फाईल करून मला यु एस मध्ये प्रोटेक्शन घेता येणार नाही इट डझंट मेक गिव्ह मी प्रोटेक्शन फॉर अ प्रॉडक्ट विच आय एम गोन टू सेल इन यु एस अँड द प्रोटेक्शन प्रोव्हायडेड इज फॉर अ लिमिटेड टाइम फक्त वीस वर्ष मला प्रोटेक्शन मिळतं इफ आय फायल अ पेटर्न अँड it does not guarantee freedom to exploit the invention cha artha asa hot nahi ki mala patent milala manje mi te manufacture karun sell karu shakto maybe tya goshti cha tya product che manufacturing karaycha sathi cha je device ahe machine ahe te already dusra konitari patent kelela ahe 
So I need to get a license from that person to make use of his device, then manufacture my product using that device and then sell it. Although I have filed a patent for that product. One of the product will be patent file for all honor net, the air car is a Tijaka goes to the HR Sudhamala Vichar Karagalagi. Again, coming back to our example, make the plot gun tevla. When the plot parent Zaisa Dizer Rastas Nasev, the Kayu Pyogana, Vahiva Tavi, Vahiva Dizati, Shazaria Pazar and Shibolun, Vahiva Dizati Rasta to Malakurun Yavalagi. तो रस्ता कराए सटी ते कदाचित पैसे मागतील की मग तुमच्या प्लॉट मधन वेवाडा मला करू द्या असं म्हणतील राईट म्हणजे प्लॉट जरी विकत घेतला त्याच्यावरती तुमची मालकी हक्क का असू शकतो पण तुम्ही त्याचा वापर करू शकता का नाही त्या प्लॉटला ऍक्सेस पाहिजे असेल तर वेवाट लागेल जायसाठी रस्ता लागेल जो दुसऱ्याच्या प्लॉट मधन जाऊ शकतो त्यामुळे त्यांची परमिशन घेणं गरजेचं आहे राईट सेम गोस विथ इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी ऑर पेटंट But patents, these were such to mala monopoly data. But why does government allow it? Government looks at it as a social contract. Patent rights are granted in return for full disclosure of technology to public. The moment you file an patent application, after 18 months, it would get published. Publish the Halaman Jakaisale, patent application the publish Halam, but you are disclosing all the information. General public Mother Pony is on the Tawapa Kurushakta. However, since you are disclosing your information technology to public, in return for that, you get a protection for 20 years. In these 20 years, you have right to prevent others from practicing the invention. And here's a fire that guy information public money Ali is a fire that guy. What happens is when the invention is publicly disclosed after expiry of patent, anybody from general public is free to use the technology after the patent has expired. And the most of the case manager, weeks versus upon patent term as the as a month, most of the case manager kaya hota. No sir, patent grant zhalyan antar te thi thi story sampad nahi. You need to grant, you need to maintain a patent after it gets granted. And to maintain a patent means you'll have to file certain forms. Patent office ka dek form bhara wa lakto, te cha madhe tumala sangha wa lakto ki you have practiced this invention in last year and it is a man you have a revenue generated a line half form to my patent office data they have enough plus to maintain a patent you'll have to pay maintenance fees there was a patent to maintain carousality maintenance fee to my take a line up and because of a cut a subscription with a black very newspaper at all दर महिन्याला आपल्याला त्याच्यासाठी पैसे द्यावे लागतात पुढच्या महिन्यात पाहिजे असेल तर त्याचं तुम्हाला बिल भरावं लागणार पुढच्या वर्षी मला पेटंटचा वापर करायचा आहे मला त्याच्यावरती ओनरशिप ठेवायची आहे तो आई नीड टू पे मेंटेनन्स फीस आणि व्हॉट हॅपन्स इज गव्हर्नमेंट हॅज मेड अ प्रोव्हिजन दॅट ॲज द इयर्स पास ॲज द पेटंट एजेस the maintenance fees is rising. Pahili char versa, malajar samza, patent maintain karaisa sati, art hazar rupai, fee bharaisa asi. Tar pachua versa persona, atua versa parenta, malatechi maintenance fee, techa dupad barabilati, sola hazar rupai barabilati. Nova versa te barava versa parenta, techa pecha jasta paisa barabilata. Right. So, the, the reason for having this increased maintenance fees is that unnecessarily a patent won't be maintained 
if it is not maintained then even before expiration of 20 years the patent gets lapsed maintain kela nahi mhanje tumhi malki sodun dili then public is free to use it even before 20 years if a patent is lapsed ani jeva ekhadya goshti varti cost incur hote tar ma people will definitely think organization will definitely think if that patent is of use to me then i will maintain it till its full term the moment i find that the patent is no longer useful to me i will not spend incur expenditure on maintaining it right so that's how the public gets benefited why do patent rights matter because it provides incentives towards creative endeavors of mind by offering protection it gives creators of each other recognition are maza nav ani patent hai it creates repositories of vital information like application patent application will get published after 18 months and the full text after it gets published is freely accessible to all if you have an internet connection right so it creates repositories of vital information facilitates growth of both domestic industry ka third patent mil type maza inventions la so i have a 20 years monopoly for me to recoup my investment it promotes international trade to treaties offering multilateral protection thus sir mala technology la access paije germany madna technology available ahe so i say okay to me india patent file kara te patent mala license kara using that technology i'll produce that good and since i have obtained a license for it, for manufacturing it in india i can sell it in india or i can manufacture it in india and export it to other markets worldwide right manufacturing cost in bharat khub kami hai so i can produce my goods and start exporting my goods So there are certain requirements for patentability. There are two types of requirements that a patent office would look into. These are called as substantial requirements and procedural requirements. Substantial requirements include subject matter. Every country will specify things which are patent eligible, with which are not patent eligible. Patent office will look. into your invention whether it is really novel whether it is non obvious and whether it has any use or utility or it is interchangeably also called as industrial application under procedural requirements what is assessed is enablement whether you have disclosed how to carry out your invention definiteness it is unnecessarily not claiming everything apan asa mantu ka ekada plot gheto tema hi majha jevdi nazrela zameen padti tevdi sagli maji man no aju baju cha ja limitations ahet te apan he karto ha dagad rovlela ahe ki ma ha jhad rovlela ahe it pasna kiti 100 meter by 100 meter 200 फूट बाय 200 फूट असे बाउंड्रीज डिफाइन करतो राईट तो डेफिनेटनेस इज देयर सेम थिंग गोज विथ पेटेंट्स आल्सो आई आल्सो नीड टू डिस्क्लोज बेस्ट मोड ऑफ कॅरिंग आउट एन इन्वेंशन एंड आयडियाज और कॉन्सेप्ट्स कॅन नॉट बी पेटेंटेड so only if a thing is in your thought that is not patented you have to bring it boil it down into practice and that thing gets patented
So these are different types of patents, utility patents. Some countries grant patents on designs. US, you can get a patent on design, but in India, you can file for such inventions, innovations under industrial design. US allows patents on plant varieties, but in India, we have a separate tool protection for plant varieties. There are certain patents called as innovation patents and certain term of duration as the innovation patents are less than 8 to 10 years of protection and this examination unless there is no objection, this is an examination. Australia grants such kinds of innovation patents as petty patents as a event. And plus, there is provisional patent application. India allows filing for provisional patent application. US too allows filing for provisional patent application. What does this application say that? Whenever an idea comes to your mind and you start working on that idea, you can go and file for a provisional patent application. By filing provisional patent application, you have time of 12 months after filing of your application and within that 12 months, you need to boil down your invention into practice and file a complete application. Tumala ek varsha bharachi vele melte to bring your idea into a tangible practical thing. Yaha ek varsha bharacha kaalat जर समझा दूसरा कोणी ऐसा और थी पेटेंट एप्लिकेशन फाइल के लो तर तुम्ही पहले ना प्रोविजनल एप्लिकेशन फाइल के लिए दासिल तर योर एप्लिकेशन गेट्स प्रायोरिटी ठीक है सो रफ तुम चाहे कटा आउटलाइन आए तब बेसिस वर्थ की यू कैन गो एंड फाइल एंड प्रोविजनल एप्लिकेशन विद इन ट्वेल्व मंथ्स यू वर्क ऑन योर ड bring it into some concrete thing and then file a complete patent specification. Panzer a complete patent specification, eka varsha chaat file ke lo nahi, then you lose claim on your idea. Dusra koni madla duration madhe application file ke le la sel, tumcha complete specification file zhala nahi, or that person may get rights to patent on it. There is no concept of world patent or an international patent. Although there are certain mechanisms under which you can file patents in multiple countries, one of such mechanisms is called as patent cooperation treaty. To me, ACRS application file karo shakta under PCT with Indian Patent Office. And you tell Indian Patent Office you want to make that application through PCT route. And it will be application among the other 148 countries. In the country, you have to file the patent in the country. You have to file the patent in the media patent office. You have to file the request that you have to file the PCT application. Kindly consider this as our patent application. Then you have to file the patent in the country. You have to file the patent in the country. The country is examiner's book and they will grant or not grant a patent. But there is a mechanism under which you can file for patent applications in multiple countries. But patents are governed by territorial laws. Every country has a patent law. So, the examination is the same as the patent law. That is the same thing. If the U.S. patent is granted in the U.S., it is not mandatory for India to grant the same patent in India. Indian Patent Office will examine that patent application as per Indian Patents Act and then grant that patent if they found it satisfying Indian patent laws. 
there are certain advantages of using PCT route. It simplifies patent filing process. You get a time up to two years to make a decision under which country you need to file. It increases efficiency of national patent offices. Kya hota? Teje application asta. Teje G requirement hai. Sagla ni ekatra vegvela deshatla loka ni ekatra basun to application the form device ke lena hai. Kya mula kya hota? Teje information lakhi minimum documentation. It is all there under PC. Teje mula kya hota? Normally when we file a patent in a patent office, patent office will look into it ki complete specification ahe ka nahi. Tar, the PCT through file ke le la sale application. Tar, the national patent office la mai dust ki, okay, a PCT application ke le la hai manje ha, minimum the requirement hai ti meet karte. In this way, the efficiency of patent offices gets increased. This is uh, how a typical patent document looks like. This is a cover page of US patent. Cover page worthy, you have bibliographic information. And since it says bibliographic in information, there is no legal implication for interpreting the patent, which means that whatever be the title, it doesn't necessarily mean that same thing might be claimed, right? So legal implications for a patent, what that patent contains is got from claims. You have a title, you have an abstract, you have inventors, you have a signee, Netflix, either. And then you have certain other information. AJ, this is the international claim. I guess it is uh, looking very small, but this is international classification G06F40 slash 58. Now, this international classification is nothing but a index which helps in identifying what is included under that patent, the technology related to which that patent is. What contains in a patent is all embodied in a claim. So every patent needs to have at least one claim. It should clearly claim the subject matter that is what is the invention? It defines meters and bounds of patentee's rights. Every claim, however big it is, it is still written in form of a single sentence. Now, coming to core of today's talk, how can I use my patents for generating ideas? Say, I have a thought process with me. Then what I can do is, I have a vague concept. So, if I look in for patents, I can understand what is patented. Okay, say, for example, if you are Right. So, मला तेजा सर ठीक है मला आज उन जास्तो उतारा था है मला ये लो वाड़ा भाई साहेब मला ऐसी टन न वोट टन कर रहा है साहेब एक आई तरह न उस आज उतन नहीं उड़ा कर रहा है साहेब सो व्हाट आई डू मी थोड़ा सा एक्सपेरिमेंटेशन यहाँ से करो शक्तों का तथा सकरो शक्तों का 
असं वाटतं मला मग समजा तुम्हाला आलं की ठीक आहे मी आज असं करेन पण माझ्या भावानी बघितलं वाटण्या झालेल्या भावानी बघितलं आणि त्याने पण चालू केलं माझ्या शेजाऱ्याने चालू केलं त्याला पण पैसे मिळ मला काय मिळणार त्याला पैसे मिळणार आहेत पद्धत मी शोधून काढली मग काय करायचं विद्याप्रतिष्ठानमध्ये शिकवलंय पेटंट करायला पाहिजे बरोबर पेटंट ऑफिस कडे तुम्ही जाल अँड वॉट यू फाइंड आउट इज पेटंट ऑफिस रिजेक्ट युअर ऍप्लिकेशन वाय मेथड्स ऑफ हॉर्टिकल्चर आर नॉट पेटंटेबल अंडर इंडियन पेटंट लॉ सो तुम्ही जो टाइम एफर्ट्स तुमचे इन्व्हेस्ट केलेले आहेत त्याच्यावरती तर पेटंट मिळू शकत नाही सो वॉट रिमेन्स मेंटेन इट ऍज अ ट्रेड सिक्रेट बरोबर एखाद मी मिक्सचर केलेला आहे त्याचा डोस मी एक्सपेरिमेंट करून ठरवलेला आहे एवढ्या दिवशी एवढ्या ठराविक मात्रेतच खत टाकली तर उत्पन्न वाढत पेटन तर घेता येत नाही कीप इट ऍज अ ट्रेड सिक्रेट अँड अंडरस्टँड वॉट इज पेटन टेबल पेटन वास्ट सोर्सेस ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रीली ऍक्सेसेबल टू ऑल काही पैसे भरावे लागत नाही फुल टेक्स साठी वॉट आय डू आय डू स्टेट ऑफ दी आर्ट सर्च कोणी कोणी काय काय केलेलं आहे मी एखाद मीडिया डिव्हाइस करतोय विच हेल्प इन ग्रोइंग मायक्रो ऑर्गॅनिझम राईट सो माय इन्व्हेन्शन नाव इज अ कॉम्पोजिशन फॉर ग्रोथ ऑफ मायक्रो ऑर्गॅनिझम मग त्याच्यात काय जाईल कॉम्पोनंट ए जाईल कॉम्पोनंट बी जाईल सी जाईल पण कॉम्पोनंट ए बी सी जो जातो ते मी पेटंट करू शकेन का कारण कदाचित असं असू शकेल जसं माझ्या मनात विचार येतो तसं दुसऱ्यांच्या मनात येतो दुसऱ्यांना पण डोकं आहे दे मॅट ऑल्सो फॉर्म्युलेटेड अ कॉम्पोजिशन सो वॉट आय डू इज आय गो कंडक्ट अ स्टेट ऑफ आर सर्च अँड फाइंड आउट इफ एनिबडी एल्स हॅज डन इट समजा तुम्हाला मिळालं नायट्रोजनचा सोर्स हा आहे कार्बनचा सोर्स हा आहे असं कॉम्पोजिशन मिळालं बट तुमच्याकडे डिफरंट सोर्स आहे एखाद्याने नायट्रोजनचा सोर्स म्हणून एक कॉम्पोनंट युज केलेला आहे आणि तो क्लेम केलेला आहे बट देन तुमचा जो कार्बनचा सोर्स आहे किंवा नायट्रोजनचा सोर्स आहे तो त्यांनी क्लेम केलेला नाही आहे सो यू अंडरस्टँड की त्यांनी ए बी सी कॉम्पोनंट क्लेम केलेले आहेत पण माझा कॉम्पोनंट तर डी आणि ई आहे क्लेम केलेला नाही आहे सी यु नो वॉट द स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट इज यू कॅन युटिलाइज पेटन पब्लिकेशन इन प्रॉडक्ट डेव्हलपमेंट हाऊ अगेन अँड एक्झाम्पल ऑफ आर व्हेकल्स वी नॉर्मली ऑल ऑफ अस मोस्ट ऑफ अस वुड बी युजिंग टू व्हीलर्स फॉर आर ट्रान्सपोर्टेशन पार्क करतो आपण कुठंतरी आणि जातो लॉक करून निघून जातो पण कायम भीती तर असते लॉक खूप इझिली तोडता येत टू व्हीलर चोरीला जाऊ शकते बरोबर मग असं करता येईल का की गाडी चालूच होऊ नये किंवा माझ्या ऑथरायझेशन शिवाय माझ्याकडची चावी लावल्याशिवाय जर गाडी चालू झाली तर माझे फोन मध्ये मेसेज यायला पाहिजे बरोबर सो यू कॅन मेक यूज ऑफ पेटर्न इन प्रॉडक्ट डेव्हलपमेंट सो आय कॅन कम आउट विथ ऍट ऍडिशनल फीचर्स विच ऑफर्स सेफ्टी टू माय व्हेकल यू कॅन मॉनिटर कॉम्पिटिटर्स बाय फॉलोइंग देअर पेटर्न पब्लिकेशन आपण सगळेजण घरी साबण वापरतो बरोबर साबण येतात कोणाकडनं हिंदुस्तान लिव्हर युनिलिव्हरची 
किंवा प्रॉक्टर अँड गॅम्बलची शॅम्पू फॉर्ममध्ये आता जर एखाद्या शॅम्पूमध्ये नवीन फ्रेग्रन्स टाकला त्यांनी तर हा फ्रेग्रन्स टाकायच्या अगोदर प्रॉडक्ट जेव्हा आपल्या आपण विकत घेतो तेव्हा आपल्याला कळत पण हा फ्रेग्रन्स टाकायच्या अगोदर प्रोबेबली इदर युनिलिव्हर ऑर प्रॉक्टर अँड गॅम्बल मे हॅव फाईल्ड अ पेटर्न सेईंग दॅट दॅट फ्रेग्रन्स इज एनकॅप्सुलेटेड युजिंग अ पॉलिमर विच विल ओनली रपचर आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ अँड आफ्टर इट इज शिअर्ड म्हणजे काय सहा महिने तरी शेल्फ लाईफ त्याची राहील आणि त्याच्यानंतर फोर्स लागल्यानंतरच तो रपचर होईल मग त्याच्यानंतर फ्रेग्रन्स बाहेर येईल सो हे प्रॉडक्ट तयार करून कंझ्युमर पर्यंत पोचायच्या ही अगोदर पेटर्न्स फाईल झालेले असतात सो नाव से युनिलिव्हर फाईल सच काइंड ऑफ पेटर्न ऍप्लिकेशन आफ्टर एटीन मंथ इट गेट पब्लिश अँड प्रोबेबली द प्रॉडक्ट विल एंटर इन टू मार्केट आफ्टर टू इयर्स मग ह्या अठरा महिने ते चोवीस महिन्याच्या ड्युरेशनमध्ये प्रॉक्टर अँड गॅम्बलला टाइम मिळालेला आहे टू कम आउट विथ अ बेटर प्रॉडक्ट वेर एन दे कॅन मेक यूज ऑफ अ डिफरंट पॉलिमर टू एनकॅप्सुलेट अ फ्रेग्रन्स विच विल हॅव सेम प्रॉपर्टीज सहा महिने तो तसाच राहील शेअर लागल्यानंतर तो फुटेल त्याच्यामधला फ्रेग्रन्स बाहेर येईल फीचर सेम आहे बट वॉट प्रॉक्टर अँड गॅम्बल विल डू इज दे विल ट्राय टू फाइंड आउट अ डिफरंट पॉलिमर अ पॉलिमरचं कॉम्पोजिशन वेगळं असेल दॅन द पॉलिमर कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ युनिलिव्हर सो कॉन्स्टंटली यू कॅन कीप ऑन मॉनिटरिंग युअर कॉम्पिटिटर्स म्हणजे असं नको व्हायला की दोन वर्षानंतर जेव्हा प्रॉडक्ट मार्केटमध्ये आलं तेव्हा मी जागा झालो आणि मला कळलं की अरे युनिलिव्हरनी असा शॅम्पू मार्केटमध्ये आणलेला आहे की जो असं घासल्यानंतर त्याच्यातनं वास येतो त्याच्या अगोदर वास येत नाही फ्रेग्रंट येत नाही so this is how i can make use of patents for generating ideas ata hecha madhe kay asu shakta jeva procter and gamble polymer cha composition varti kaam karayla chalu karel they might get even better efficiency tancha polymer cha composition asa asel evda stable asel ki tancha polymer ek varsha bhar stable rahil सो त्यांचं प्रॉडक्ट जे आहे तयार झाल्यानंतर त्याची शेल्फ लाईफ एक वर्ष असेल विच इज इवन बेटर दॅन शेल्फ लाईफ ऑफ युनिलिव्हर शॅम्पू सो दिस इज हाऊ इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम पेटन्स कॅन बी युज पेटन्स कॅन ऑल्सो बी युज टू इव्हॅल्युएट लेवल ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी इन अँड इंडस्ट्री say for example what we are looking now is mobile phones made 5g phones 5g phones apan aikto ha flipkart cha sale chalu jala order karayla jato 10 second cha at aapli kay order basat nahi aplya la kay the phone milat nahi pan jenna milto tenna tari 5g technology vaparta yete ga nahi karan india made फाय जी टेक्नॉलॉजी अवेलेबल आहे का आता कुठे टेस्टिंग चालू झालेलं आहे सो वॉट वी नो नाव इज इंडियामध्ये फाय जी टेक्नॉलॉजी रेडी फोन्स आहेत पण त्या टेक्नॉलॉजीला पब्लिकला अजून ऍक्सेस नाही बट वेर ॲज इफ यू लुक ॲट पेटर्न दॅट आर बिंग फाईल्ड इन यु एस अँड चायना कंपनीज हॅव स्टार्टेड फायलिंग पेटर्न ऑन सिक्स जी टेक्नॉलॉजी पण जिथं फाय जी टेक्नॉलॉजी ऑलरेडी इंट्रोड्यूस झालेली आहे त्यांना अजून पुढे जायचं आहे सो इफ आय हॅव टू लुक ॲट टेक्नॉलॉजी इन टेलिफोन इंडस्ट्री फॉर मी द टेलिकॉम इंडस्ट्री इज ॲट लेवल ऑफ सिक्स जी कारण त्यांच्याकडं सिक्स जी टेक्नॉलॉजीवरची पेटर्न फाईल झालेली आहे 
ऑल्दो मला भारतामध्ये अजून फाय जी ला ऍक्सेस नाहीये राईट बट टू अंडरस्टँड लेवल ऑफ टेक्नॉलॉजी येस इट इज इट हॅज रिस्ट सिक्स जनरेशन हॅव टेकन अन ए स्टडी फॉर इन विच हॅज डेमॉन्स्ट्रेट हाऊ information from a patent can be used for generation of ideas what normally happens is there are number of food borne diseases which are caused due to due to infection by pathogens bacteria as such microorganisms as such food through transmit hota with the contaminated food khato and i get infected any question so in such a situation to gain control on infections normally what doctor does is he will prescribe certain antibiotics but there are certain drawbacks also what is most concerning nowadays is development of resistance to antibiotics by microorganisms resistance you shakto and antibiotics affect gut flora also antibiotic getlyanantar bagitla tar potat gadbad hote bhukas lagat nahi barobar pot bigadlya sarko hota so these are certain drawbacks but what if i don't use antibiotics but still i can gain control on pathogenic bacteria हाऊ विद्या प्रतिष्ठान मधन तुम्ही कोर्स केलेला आहे बी एस सी एम एस सी केलेला आहे तुम्हाला माहिती आहे बॅक्टेरियो फाजेस आहेत बॅक्टेरियो फाजेस अफेक्ट करतात बॅक्टेरियाला यू हॅव दिस आयडिया सो वॉट यू से इज यू डिवाइस अ फॉर्म्युलेशन विच कन्सिस्ट ऑफ बॅक्टेरियो फाजेस फाजेस कंटेनिंग कॉम्पोजिशन अँड बाय ॲडमिनिस्ट्रिंग that composition you will try to control pathogenic bacteria ki tumchi idea ahe ata so what you do is your concept is use of phages to control pathogenic bacteria then ata tumhala maiti hai patent mat file kele jau shakta tyacha varti tar you go and start searching for patent state of the art sir when you go through patents what you find out is that most of the patents have been filed for controlling infections caused by salmonella e coli and listeria right manje itna tumhala kay milala ki tumcha je composition ahe that should be able to control infections called caused by salmonella e coli listeria moreover next what you find out is these control methods involve naturally occurring bacteriophages from myoviridae family tamula tumhi konche bacteriophages bagal most of the patents filed are making use of bacteria from that specific family next the composition ahe what does that composition involve it includes isolated bacteriophages or food products that contain bacteriophages or you can also claim methods for using or application of that composition manje ka sir composition ahe tyacha madhe bacteria phage ahe konsa bacteria phage ahe myoviridae sathi ahe myoviridae family madla ahe pan nusta aplyala bacteria phage deun chalnar ekha nahi viable rahayla pahije bacteria phage tyamule tela supporting growth factors pahije tyacha madhe but नुसतं बॅक्टेरिया फाजच कॉम्पोजिशन असं लिक्विड किंवा इनॉक्युलेशन देऊन चालणार आहे का नो 
I need to also devise a formulation such that it may be easy to apply. Easy to apply means that sir, me kai mazhar product asa develop karna reka ki baba local zone bazar na product gethil. Jaise apn nil getho, liquid soap getho, ani bahar na kai tarik hoon aale, ani techa worki te takla ani makhala asa hota ga. Rather, what would people do? People would be looking in for products ready to eat foods. And he is ready to eat food as well. The manufacturer is ready to eat food as well. The manufacturer is ready to eat food as well. The manufacturer is ready to eat food as well. The manufacturer is ready to eat food as well. So that in the next five days or so, it doesn't get contaminated with salmonella or other pathogenic bacteria right so my formulation as a pie j spray cartel by industrial means correct deep current are salon are name deep killer keep the over not leap and arm a packaging parent where is an art the deep voice to parent i tell you total time all again if i access a little card i will again again a cost would be incurred so while devising my invention this is how patents would help me my composition should be sprayable my end consumer is not going to be the person who is going to consume that food my customer is going to be a food manufacturer who makes ready to eat foods अनेक कौनसी फूड्स टारगेट के लिए जाता है या बैक्टीरियल फाइल्स चा कंपोजिशन में मीट एग्स डेरी प्रोडक्ट्स वेजिटेबल्स सी फूड्स अनेक रेडी टू इट फूड तर माजर फॉर्मूलेशन जब हम आज तो क्या था लेकिन मैं बैक्टीरियल फाइल्स का यूज करना रहे तू कंट्रोल पैथोजेनिक बैक्टीरिया दिस इनफॉरमेशन व in finalizing the composition is all I can get if I study patents. I can look at patents, customize my formulation for Salmonella, E. coli or Listerine. Say for example, patents are not like Salmonella is the composition of Act. But in India, ready to eat foods, do you have any composition, ready to eat composition that contains eggs? Eggs are mostly infected by salmonella. So probably my information here could be, I will not look at compositions that would control salmonella. Rather, I would look in for controlling dairy products, infections in dairy products vegetables because these are what are typically consumed but techa nantar dhumi kai bagal ki techa baro bar tumala kai karai se composition banao lo sprayable banao lo you will also need to file a patent on it so while filing patent application you will consider all of these factors कि तुम जो कंपोजिशन आए, ते नॉवेल आए, हे पेटेंट ऑफिस बगना रहे, तुम्हाला ये महीते, त्याम लोग तुम्ही प्रायर आठ सर्च कराल, अने फाइंड आउट कराल कि तुम जो कंपोजिशन, अने आपको तो रेगुलेशन कंपोजिशन सेम नहीं है, बरोबर, दिस इज़ हाउ पेटेंट्स कैन बी यूज्ड फॉर जनरेशन ऑफ़ आइडिया� Patents can be used for idea. This was a study which uh, we carried out, uh, my colleagues and myself, wherein uh, we tried to find out what are the trends in application of machine learning in animal husbandry. Now, these are two very di diverse fields. Huh? Animal husbandry is different, but and machine learning is also different. 
but we still wanted to see what has happened in this area so what we did was we had a look at patents from freely accessible patent database which is called as eSpaceNet so if you have access to internet you can uh, internet you can go and check this website eSpaceNet what we did was we downloaded title and abstract from this freely available database and then we used natural language processing to find out what exactly do these patents contain so what we found out was this activity in this area has started before 1970s and after 2010 the patents have gone up which means the filings have increased which means many organizations have gotten interested in filing patents related to application of machine learning in animal husbandry so what has been done in these areas after 2000 till date so what we did was we extracted certain keywords from title and abstract of those patents and we found out very broadly and this is again a very broad output that patents are talking mentioning animals which is natural animal husbandry is related to animal but we also found that they are using it for monitoring rearing food and growth but this doesn't make sense to me so what we did was these are single words so instead of making use of single words we extracted bigrams which means two words and trigrams three words together so if you see in this table now for the patents which were filed in these five years 2000 to 2005 the focus was on measuring dimensions and what was measuring dimensions this was for measuring eggs milk flow profiling live stock monitoring and focus animal was bovine animals so basically the patents used machine learning to monitor growth of cattle bovine cattle they were also using it for measuring eggs in poultry and emerging areas where face image and biometric identification of cattle how we came out with this it was after reading the patents for next five years the focus area was pattern information and verification wherein the patterns were used for monitoring diagnostics grading of carcass and aquatic counting so what came into focus in next five years along with bovine was fish so the application area expanded people started making use of machine learning taking images and counting out how many fishes have grown in a pond next five years focus was on image detections barcode body condition score to applications for managing behavior koi aggressive to nahi ho raha koi cattle reproductive estimations and again identification and detection so focus for these five years was again on fish and bovine next five years was new making use of neural networks as well as machine learning for fish identification 
counting predictions of number of fish and estrus monitoring so now along with bovine and fish we now have applications in pig and poultry and in the recent years patents were also being filed for deep learning wherein the technologies were used for monitoring of parasites and for estimating forecasting feeding appetite and here again the focus was on fish pig and poultry now after doing this analysis if i come and file a patent for monitoring livestock involving cow that technology has already been filed in 2000 technology now has moved to lower animals jo size mein chote hain so now i am monitoring parasites on fishes right so i shouldn't be going and filing patents on bovine now this is a, again a third case study in which we have again made use of machine learning to predict new areas in which i can file a claim uh, if you remember while we were seeing cover page of a patent document uh, we saw international patent classification code that is a classification code index assigned to every patent document when it gets published which indicates <coughs> the technological area so what we did was we tried to find out whether such new combinations are possible uh, we again made use of our first example a formulation or use of bacteriophages for controlling infections in food food one pathogens now this actually comes from real applications we had in csir one of the project in which they are making use of bacteriophages to control infections in food borne diseases and they were focusing only on infections caused by foods consumed by humans to unhone kuch formulation device kiya and they wanted to file a patent so that patent came for assessment to us to humne bola ki theek hai aap isko file kar sakte ho with your given composition but why are you restricting only for humans because when that application came to us we ran linkage prediction which is one of the method of artificial intelligence and when we ran this linkage prediction what we found out was there is a possibility that one of the ipc code a61k which is related to medicinal preparation containing viruses can be combined with animal feeding stuffs हमने बोला वाई डू यू वॉन्ट टू रिस्ट्रिक्ट योर फॉर्मुलेशन टू बी यूज ओनली इन ह्यूम दैट टारगेटेड इट अगेंस्ट लिस्ट एरिया सो ये आने के बाद में सी दिस इज आउटपुट ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस वी डोंट नो इफ दिस इज रियली गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन नॉट सो वी वेंट बैक डीड अ सर्च एंड फाउंड आउट दैट इवन एनिमल्स गेट इन्फेक्टेड बाई लिस्ट एरिया सो वी गेव दम दिस रिकमेंडेशन की आपके क्लेम्स में ये क्लेम भी इंक्लूड करिए बिकॉज इवन एनिमल्स गेट इन्फेक्टेड बाई लिस्टेरिया आपका फॉर्मुलेशन भी एक्ट करा है लिस्टेरिया का अगेंस्ट बट डोंट रिस्ट्रिक्ट टू ह्यूम यू ऑल्सो इज इंक्लूड अ क्लेम फॉर कॉम्पोजिशन विच इज यूज टू ट्रीट लिस्टेरियल इन्फेक्शन इन एनिमल्स सो दिस इज हाउ इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम पेटर्स 
from different parts of a patent can be used for idea generation. Right? Now when patents, you file patents, you own patents and you go in for execution of idea. In such a scenario, the patent information can be used in different ways. You can secure patents for continuing your operations. You can also make use of patents for preempting your competitors entry into market. You can use a patent as a marketing tool. You can use patents as a negotiation tool. Aapke aur aapke competitor ke beech mein, there's some negotiations going on. You say, I'll give you my patent to use. You give me your patent to use. Both of us will coexist in the market. What Maruti is doing now, Suzuki is selling car as Brezza. Toyota is selling same car as Urban Rider. Both are generating revenue. And I also avoid patent infringements and disputes. Need very recent cases. We had COVID pandemic. Different vaccines based on different technologies. Most talked about was mRNA based vaccines device by Pfizer, Moderna, but you see this item over here. In March of this year, Allen Island was granted a patent on a formulation containing liposome. The formulation was made using liposomes and the day that patent was granted to Allen ILM, they filed patent infringement suit against Pfizer and Moderna saying that mRNA device by BioNTech or Moderna was encapsulated in an liposomal formulation based on Allen ILM patents. Pfizer, Moderna have sold vaccines in market without taking license of patent from us. Allen Island compared to Pfizer is very small player. Still, the moment they got patent grant, they sued Pfizer. Next, another small company, Arbiters. They filed patent infringement suit against Moderna. Same thing, delivery of mRNA. In May of last year, Nature, their editors started talking about patent waivers on COVID vaccines. Right. So in such a situation, when Allen Island files patent, it's their idea execution phase. Unhone formulation bana hai, which consists of nano liposomal formulation, which encapsulates mRNA. They have prepared that composition and it is being used for delivery of mRNA formulation by Pfizer and Moderna. So when I have to execute my idea, I need to secure my IP patent grant ho gaya only after which they were able to sue for infringement. Pfizer on their part should have been more careful while launching vaccines in market. Because unko pata chalna chahiye tha. mRNA to directly deliver nahi kar sakte. They cannot deliver mRNA directly. They need to encom capsulate in some liposome. So they should have checked for if anybody has filed patents on liposomal formulation, which can enclose or encapsulate a nucleic acid. Nahi kiya, product launch kiya, they got sued. 
fine so this is what information i should be looking out while i'm executing my idea think from perspective of allen ilm also as well as from pfizer also so i guess it's 12:30 i have exceeded my time so let us stop over here and if there are any questions please feel free to ask me ha huh. a oh, well uh, designed ppt yes, which yes, i can sir, say where you are taken from the basics to many of the examples recent examples a good presentation thanks uh -huh. for that if any questions from the audience students and the faculty members who are joined if you have any kind of question either you can unmute yourself and ask the questions or type it on to the in the chat box so that we can ask it maybe to continue with this uh, nishad the examples what you are given are really good and uh, that will give an idea to all the students who are who are attending because we have students from computer background computer science chemistry physics biotech microbiology zoology so earlier in the earlier days the individual field was having their own patenting or ipr but now it's an interdisciplinary which is now coming up and that is the need of our so the good examples what you have given yesterday only i read one article where uh, based on the honey bee dancing the honey bee how do they move or how do they dance? based on that the robots being prepared so the robotic movement can be based on the anti dancing so it's it's an interdisciplinary work where the biological person or a computational person can work hand in hand and try to get some good ideas some good technologies so that is the thing which are coming yes any question from the audience yeah anyone feel free to ask any kind of questions what you have maybe one question which i can uh, put down here that usually these student they go for the projects for their msc and one thing which comes in front of them that how to go for searching okay mm -hmm. so maybe they might be searching some uh, on the google by giving some keywords and get some research article and they simply read it and kind kind of do the work but then uh, can you just throw some light on this that uh, whether the searches can be done on some patents if there some documents which are available so if they can go through it and uh, try to develop their ideas something like that uh what i am doing is i'll just pull out yeah i've got it i'm just sharing my screen in which uh, probably students can go online and they can do their searches using keywords so usually they have access to access to only those articles which are free right right yeah so i guess my, my screen is visible yes yeah so these are the important websites in which uh, you can go and do a search these are all freely accessible espace net it contains information on patents from more than 100 countries this video will contain information on patents from us indian patent office on india so espacenet is a good resource they also have a tutorial on how to conduct patent searches so freely accessible video ke sath mein hai so video sakat hai sagalyani bagitla tari samjhun jata okay yes any questions from the students
Hand of, hand of Misha. Yes, yeah, yeah. I just have one question because we have two faculty who uh, have joined from commerce and even arts backgrounds. So, so I would like to ask how, how about the, uh, uh, let me say, the scope for arts or commerce to have any patrons generated with respect to a process or a product, and how India is doing in this setting? Now, uh, while granting patents, the patent office won't look uh, at. You are in your voice. Is it okay now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, while granting a patent, the patent office won't look at the background of inventors. So if uh, they have device, a process, it will check against existing prior art irrespective of the background of the inventor. So if it is really novel, yes, a patent would be granted. If it is allowed as per patent law, a patent would be granted. If not, if their endeavors are directed more towards arts, if I may say so, like uh, they have written something, uh, say for example, a health manual, they can get a copyright on it. Or, say for example, a person is from commerce background, he has devised a way in which a process can be automated. So that process automation is to be enabled using certain computers, certain machines, which fall under category of computer related inventions, which again Patent office considers under sec scope of patents. So these process may get a patent if it is enabled implemented using computers. Okay, thank you. And one more question is because you are a faculty in patent informatics and the students are from different fields of computer science, biotechnology, microbiology and all, where maybe in future they would like to look at patenting as their career option. So how would you guide them in this regard? Uh, when we speak of patents as a career option, there are two tracks to it. The first track involves preparing and patent application, drafting the claims and getting it prosecuted at patent office for which you need to pass an patent agent examination. This patent agent examination is conducted by patent office of India. So uh, you have to write two papers. And if you pass in those two papers, you will have to face one interview. If you clear all of these three hurdles, you are authorized as patent agent and you can draft and prosecute patent applications on behalf of others. The second track involves patent litigation for which you need to have strong legal background along with strong domain knowledge. So you should be expert in your domain as well as you should be expert in legal aspect as well. So for this kind of situation domain, we probably can have an MSc degree. And for legal degree, there are certain top universities who are offering different programs in legal aspects. IIT Khadakpur has LLB program specializing in intellectual property rights. Plus, there is National Law School of India University, Bangalore. They also offer certain courses on IPRs. But if you want to make your career in litigation, I would suggest go for an LLB. So these are the two tracks, two major tracks as far as patents are concerned. Okay, thank you. 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 Th
my personal observation is currently engineering industries they are looking in for people who have expertise in their own domain which means engineering domain computer sciences domain and some introductory aspects of law and drafting within one and two years of such jobs they are highly paid highly seeked after and pharma as we all know pharma industry they are looking in for people with pharmacy background or organic chemistry background so if you tie these subjects these domain with pattern knowledge you are again a sort of professional for life sciences background what is happening is many people are doing this nalsar course certification on ipr laws so along with that if you have experience in drafting and prosecution of patent applications you would be absorbed but if you realize the nature of industry with life sciences background very few industries in india working purely in life sciences domain compared to pharma or engineering so comparatively less in tech okay i think that has helped us to have a different window to look into a new scope and maybe a new career uh, which is very lucrative and at the same time maybe financially also very sound as compared to other corporate jobs what we look at at present so and highly challenging at the same time uh, thank you so much dr nishad deshpande yes it was uh, immensely informative and also very simple to understand for students as well as faculty uh, wherever they would like to go for patenting their ideas or maybe their product or the process in future so definitely it would be of help to us uh, as the iic center and all the audience who are on this virtual lecture so to take up ipr in future and especially with respect to patents uh, so i once again take this opportunity uh, to thank dr nishad dash deshpande uh, today's uh, guest speaker and who had taken all his time on the saturday uh, maybe it's a holiday for you at your end so thank you so much dr nishad and i also uh, thank dr bharat shinde sir principal Uh, who have guided us throughout the session uh, through these impact lecture series for helping us out thank you sir and uh, dr lara sir kashit vice principal science faculty thank you sir and dr tushar borse who convened the entire lecture series through iic and mrs neelima pendarkar uh, coordinator iqac and also president of iic who in spite of her illness was present throughout the session and also all the other coordinators of iic and the faculty members from our own college and even from other colleges who have been part of this lecture and many students of post graduate as well as undergraduate courses who were through the session till the end thank you so much one and all for being present and for spending your valuable time and also for taking the insights of ipr and how to convert this idea in future and how to execute any innovative idea so thank you one and all now i would request all the audience and even our guest speaker and even the other faculty members to kindly put your videos on so that we can take a group photo and for the students there is a feedback link in the chat box so please find the feedback link and please give your valuable feedback which will help us to organize few more interesting lectures like this so i request each and every participant to kindly put your video on so that we can take a group photo we can take a screenshot of everyone who is participating in this lecture so i request one and all to kindly put on your videos all the students faculty please put on your videos so that we can take a screenshot या अमृता भोसले साइली देशमुख ऋषिकेश डॉक्टर महाजन सर 
सचिन निंबाळकर डी बी जामी या सो दॅट वी कॅन हॅव अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इच अँड एव्हरी पार्टिसिपंट या थँक्यू सो मच Uh, now you can find the feedback link in the chat box so please all of you make sure that you are giving the feedback thank you one and all and uh, i would like to also announce that in the afternoon we have a similar impact lecture series number 2 at 230 onwards by dr pavan kumar a scientist so i request all the students to be present in the afternoon's lecture from 230 to 4 o'clock Thank you one and all Dr Nishad thank you so much thank you all it's been a pleasure thank you Dr Nishad okay thank you students see you in the afternoon so we want you all in the large number